ask. Hi there, we're here today for our impact interview with the Code Blue team from Lansdale. We're here with Mark Lannon and Leslie Johnson. How are you today? Okay, we're doing well. well we're really Great. happy to have you. Um, I wanted to ask you, many of us might not be aware of your organization and all that it does in the community. I was wondering if you could share a little bit about your organization. Sure. Uh, our organization is Code Blue Shelter in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. It's the, the Trinity Lutheran Church. And we bring in, um, when the temperatures go below 30 degrees outside, we bring in um, housing insecure men and we give them a, a cot, a, a good meal, some coffee, and some companionship for the night uh, to keep them safe and off the streets of Lansdale and the North Penn area. Okay. Do you have volunteers that go out and try to help find individuals that might be in need of shelter on cold nights? Uh, we have, uh, uh, the county does that for us. There's an organization called Street Access, Street Outreach, I'm sorry, that goes out and does that. They, they, know, they know most of the men and they know where to find them. And if it's severe, severely cold outside, they'll bring them in to us. We, we don't physically go out, not to volunteers from the Code Blue Shelter. Okay, okay. But then they, the street outreach, do they bring them right to where your Code Blue um, location is? Yes, they bring them to us and we, we check them in. In the past two years, we've been giving them COVID-19 tests. Um, all the negative guys get to stay. The positive guys get what we call hoteled. Uh, we send them to a hotel and they have a hotel room um, because we can't have like, a positive man in amongst the population in our shelter. The shelter is just too small. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, um, why do you find it so important for, you know, just to, as far as educating our students, you know, getting these individuals off the street during this really cold weather? I'm sure there are health impacts there that, you know, you really want to make an extra effort to help them. Yeah, the, the, yeah, when the temperatures get extreme like that, extreme like that, it's, it's unsafe for anybody to be out on the streets. So we, we've made a decision, we, we, we looked at a lot of factors, and we decided that the, the, the 30 degrees would probably be the best uh, cutoff point for us to bring in these men. It is, when it gets down to 20 or to 10, it is dangerous for men to be, or anybody to be out on the street. Okay, makes sense. I'm sure that there's an impact. I know a lot of times with their feet, with hypothermia and their hands, um, you know, that's a big issue, which is part of why we, you know, started to do so many sock rolls. Right. Because it just helps keep them a little bit warmer. Um, so when the Gimme Tree is able to send you hats and gloves and scarves, I know our students put bags like that together. Um, how do you feel that that is received by your clients? The, the socks are, are come in very good, very handy. They're especially the heavy wool socks. They're, they're reusable. Um, the, the inexpensive socks aren't, we, we can get rid of them, but the men cannot use them that much. The thin socks uh, and the wrap, the socks being wrapped is, it, it's, it gives a nice presentation. Right. And the guys, and the guys like that and they pull the ribbon off and pull it in and uh, get the crackers or whatever inside of them and they, and they get a kick out of that that's great leslie i think you said you had a sock story for us yeah so this one gentleman has a little bit of paranoia on top of being homeless and changing his socks is a really big priority to him because you, feet health is is really challenging and so being out in the cold and then having wet socks could be really dangerous for this population so he couldn't get over the fact that we had such a variety of socks and different sizes so he could layer and because he's the kind of person that needs to change them more frequently than someone else who might not be as worried about their foot health but he really was was blessed by that option of having all the different kinds of socks and it it really made him feel a lot better when he left the shelter the next morning that's great. I, I think of your organization many times in the cold weather because, you know, you're putting a hat on or you're running out to your car and you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm so grateful that the Code Blue shelters are out there. 
um, because you just think of people on the street on those nights and it just, it just feels like it would just be awful. So, yes. so, I mean, your organization's doing amazing things and I think we're all very grateful and I'm glad that you were able to be with us today and give this little extra education out there about what you do and about how the Giving Tree gifts are received by your clients. And I give a shout out to the Lansdale and the North Penn region, the, the police department in Lansdale, they're an incredible group of guys and girls, sorry. And so they, they bring them in and they help these people. They don't ignore them. They don't ostracize them. They bring them to the shelter also. That's great. It's definitely a group effort. And with organizations like yours yes. as well, it really made our season yes. successful. So thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we could um, we could be of a help. Well, that's great. I'm so glad that you could um, be here with us today. And I, you know, keep up all the good work. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks much. for having us. Absolutely.